Super Boobies, my name is Sly Fox Down, and welcome back to Sly vs. The World. If you guys don't know, it's pretty much a series where I play a random game regardless if I ever played it before, or is it new, or is it completely random and obscure and you guys found it through a flash something. Whatever it is, I try to give it a shot, and this time, we are playing Terraria, but for the console. Since a lot of homies have been telling me, Sly Terraria is out, you need to check it. Just a small edit because I forgot to mention this. If this video for some reason were to do really, really good, if all the homies were like, Sly, we want to where we are back. We need to where we are. We, we never finished it. We want to see what the hell is going on. If you guys really go out of your way to show it in the like section, in the comments, tell me how badly would you want me to bring back Terraria, then I'll definitely do it because I know that the PC is getting an update this May. And also, uh, the Xbox and the PS3 version will be constantly getting updated from what I read. So I'm pretty stuck about that. So let me uh, break this down a little bit and let's figure out what's going on with Terraria and how it looks. So before I start going into all the things Terraria on the Xbox, let me explain a little bit what Terraria really is to those that have never heard of such game, which is kind of crazy because this game is really popular. So the best way I can pretty much break this game down pretty quick for you guys is by comparing with three games that I know. These three games are Minecraft, Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past, and World of Warcraft. It gives you the survival aspect of Minecraft that you have to build a house, then later get materials down in the cave, and kind of like build up yourself so you can have better weapons, and just make the survival aspect a lot easier for you. Then the whole aspect, the whole color scheme, the whole old school feel, retro vibe of Zelda Link to the Past, because it just gives you that like adventure, old school 2D, feel of it that Legend of Zelda did for me, so I love that adventure part of it. And the last one, World of Warcraft, is because in order to get all these materials, all these crazy monster battles and everything, you had to do a lot of grinding, which I believe, and I tried it myself, there was a lot of grinding in WoW in order to get awesome items, but that is part of what draws me into the game something that an end game goal is gonna be epic like this battle itself it's one of the not it used to be the last battle with all the new updates it's not and actually on top of that if you didn't know this the xbox and the ps3 version of terraria have an exclusive boss battle which is an incentive for me to want either bring back terraria series like i have before and finish all the boss battles that i didn't finish and the new one on the console and it seems to be epic as hell but hopefully all that information that i gave you is enough so you guys are aware of what this game is all about and let's see how this game is in the xbox version shall we well if you ask me this looks like the terraria i know <laughs> well it does because it's terraria for the consoles well essentially the only difference is obviously the controllers and let me talk a little bit about the controller scheme let me show you it right meow so when i saw this i was like all right this is just perfect because in reality i have played so many 2d platformer games like mario and mega man donkey kong and the list goes on and they kind of kind of have this this scheme jump the bottom one everything so i was like all right they didn't try to like make it all different and special like this is just common for us gamers and it allows you to get into the game really really easy so to you guys that made the controller scheme i want to kiss you in the lips thank you for not messing it up so i would love to give you guys a tutorial because you know when we started playing we had this dude over here mr seth the guy that would kind of help us a little bit what the hell the items do and you know how to go about making them and what items would make what but the game itself and the console version gives you a pretty sweet tutorial, which, I don't know, I can't put it any better. It gives you all the things that you need to learn, which is always a good thing, because every time we go into a game, we think we know everything, but there's that moment where we're like, um, what do I do here now? So taking in consideration all the time they already put on Terraria when it came to the computer or the PC, and now putting more time on Terraria when it came to the consoles, what do I think of at least the Xbox version of Terraria? I think this is a great addition to it. The reason why is because I knew a lot of people that wanted to play this game when I was doing my Let's Plays, but couldn't because they only had consoles and they were not really savvy when it came to computers. They didn't know about Steam. So a lot of people, a lot of homies out there are really young and they're like, oh man, I just only have a console. I only have a PS3 or an Xbox. This is great for all of you guys that wanted to play. The game does justice to it on the consoles. It's gonna take a while, if you're a PC player of Terraria, it's gonna take you a little bit of getting used to it, but it's really simple to get the hang of it. And if anything, I feel like it, they made it more comfortable for us to play it. So, 
I give this a 9 out of 10 Whoopi Goldbergs. The game is awesome, and not only is it going to be updated constantly, apparently, on the consoles, but it's getting a big update on the PC version pretty soon. So, this is my question to you guys. If you would like to see either my old school Let's Plays, I'm going to put a link in the description to put some of that. On top of that, if you want to see more Terraria coming from me on my channel, make sure you show your support. Tell me if you want to give it a shot. Tell me if you always like Terraria or if you never played Terraria. I want to see what you guys think and if this series does good, I might just bring more in Sly vs. World because uh, I like doing these random things and uh, playing games that I don't have to really worry unless you guys really want it. And I just slapped something on the floor. What the hell was that? Anyways, to everybody out there watching, thank you so much for watching guys. My name is Sly Foxhound and hopefully we'll see more Terraria. Take care homies. See ya!